manufacturers and regulatory bodies like ISO or the International Organization for Standardization adopt regulations to enhance the safety of using compressed gas cylinders. We have observed certain safety features built into medical cylinders in previous videos, such as a pressure relief device that vents excess gas in the event of a fire or excessive pressure, a pin index safety system to ensure the correct use of the intended gas, and color coding to identify cylinders, among other features. In this video, we will explore how we, as end users, can further improve safety when using cylinders. The safety features in the cylinder are designed to achieve one of the following objectives, 1. To prevent inadvertent gas connections, 2. To prevent leakage, thereby reducing waste and pollution, 3. To prevent overpressure, which can lead to fires and explosions. Safety measures such as cylinder color coding, the pin index system, cylinder labeling, and markings are employed to prevent inadvertent gas connections. Manufacturers mandate regular testing, proper storage, handling, and installation of cylinders in hospitals by trained personnel to prevent the leakage of cylinder contents. Overpressure is prevented through the use of pressure relief devices, Bodox seal and proper storage of the cylinders. Cylinder markings encompass gas-specific information that is stamped on the shoulder of the cylinder. These engraved marks provide crucial details about the cylinder, including pressure-related parameters such as working pressure and the test pressure in both bars and PSI. They also reveal essential manufacturer information, such as the country of manufacture, identification number, and serial numbers. Additionally, there are stamps indicating regulatory and approval organizations, as well as the initial test date and physical characteristics of the cylinder, such as its empty weight, water capacity, and thickness. Among all these pieces of information, the most vital ones for end users are the service pressure, empty weight for nitrous oxide cylinders, and the initial test date. The cylinder label is the most reliable method for identifying cylinder contents. The information on the label can vary from manufacturer to manufacturer, but it typically includes important details such as name of the gas. Hazard diamond indicating whether the gas is flammable or not. Warning and precautionary directions. Filled or service pressure. Manufacturer's contact information and handling directions. In addition to these essential elements, a cylinder label may also provide information such as the cylinder's empty weight and its size. Each cylinder has attached to it a tag that features three distinct sections, namely, full, in use, and empty. When the cylinder is actively in use, the full section of the tag should be detached and when the cylinder is empty, the in use portion of the tag should be removed. This helps users know about the content status of the cylinder. Cylinder safety can be enhanced by adopting several rules which can be grouped under strategies aimed at improving general safety practice, storage and use and after use. In general, cylinders should always be handled by trained personnel. The cylinders and their components should not come into contact with grease or oil, and they should not be exposed to high temperatures or flames. It is important to avoid using apparatus designed for one gas on other cylinders, as this could risk loosening connection parts. The marking, labeling, and tags on cylinders should never be defaced at any time. The cylinder valves should be always be protected with the cylinder caps. Additionally, cylinders should never be dropped, dragged, or rolled, they should be transported using appropriate carts or carriers. When it comes to cylinder storage, it's important to designate a specific area that is cool, clean, and fire resistant. This storage area should be kept free from potential sources of electricity or fire hazards. It should also be easily accessible for safety and convenience. 
cylinders should be securely positioned in an upright manner within their designated storage racks. Furthermore, it's crucial to store different types of cylinders separately to prevent the risk of inadvertent deliver of wrong gas. Lastly, always ensure that empty cylinders are segregated to maintain safety and organization.